get this to make us look make us look more beautiful if we can if then if you can imagine such a, a thing really difficult not to look at that in it yeah just don't look at it look at the round thing instead the round black right thing. hello yeah. this is going to be a standalone q a sent in from the patrons of all oh, right i see these are these are like the cream yeah they're the... risen to the top yeah <laughs> the creamy oh yeah the cream always rises to the top speaking of cream uh, Shout out my boy for sending me all these. I'd have to look back at you. I don't have a great signal, but... I'm not so sure about the... Thank uh, you very much. They've all getting smashed. I've given Joey D a few. Says, says God, goddamn, goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus, which is a bit of a weird title, don't you think? It's not really a pun, a pun or anything, nothing, is, it? is it? It's like, you goddamn... Why sexual? Why sexual not? Why not? Tyrannosaurus. Because it's just, you know, he's got a Gatling gun, there's fire, there's dinosaurs. He's crashed a helicopter, it's, but I don't know why he's got a pug, or whatever that is, but we'll see if this works, if it doesn't, won't be the first time something's not worked, <laughs> will it? You just move that to make you look a bit taller. <laughs> yeah. you, can't, you can't mess with fact, and science and fact is what we're dealing with. Oh, look at all this, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did ask for you to send, uh, like... Dilemmas, stuff like that. Dilemmas, but, right? Yes, but it looks like you haven't. <laughs> Drynet, Dave Drynet. Say hello, he's a patron. Hi, hi, hi. hi Dave. Uh, happy New Year to you too. Dilla dilla, happy New Year to you. Okay, yeah. You need to get straight to the point, Dave. Um, you always seem the happiest when you're on top of it. Yeah. Do you and, and JD... Have a preferred venue, location type for being one with nature. Cheers and all the best, Dave. At one with nature. At one with nature. That's a, that's a very specific thing, isn't it? At one with nature. Mine, mine's got to be the coast because oh. the sea is very humbling. Stolen that from me. Can you speak a little bit louder so the people at home can hear you? You've stolen it off <laughs> me. I was about to say coast myself. Uh, hey, we can share it. We can share the coast. We were born and raised yeah. by the coast. At one with nature. <laughs> nature. Uh, I mean coast. I've got... I've, uh, unless you've ever been to Bewley Park. Unless you've ever been to arcades. I like... I find that when... The end arcade. Cherry's arca dropping, it really oh. makes you feel like. Yeah, middle arcade, back in the day, with me. Yeah. You know, when you get a quence. <laughs> <laughs> Alt lights go red. Let's sail through these because quite a few. Matt T. Hey, did you hear. Did I hear you say you had been climbing in one of your last videos? Maybe. If so, what and where? Have you conquered your fear of falling? Cheers, bud. Matt. Dark peak dirt bag. I'll just. Has, I'll answer that. Yep. He hasn't conquered his fear of falling. He's, he's constantly fearful of falling. So now when he's walking, sometimes he gets it overcomes him and he sits down. And he has to lay. He has to crouch. <laughs> <laughs> I do a little duck squat, like a squat, like a duck, and walk like that sometimes. Till my noggin sorts itself out. Especially if I'm hungover, can't hack it. The truth is, mate. I don't know, and the only way I'm going to find out is by booking myself onto another Via Ferrata or putting myself in that position to find out, which I will be doing this year. We've got to go back to France. I'm traversing around that sheer drop. My just my ass fell out. I couldn't do. Couldn't. Can't get my head around it. Or do the one in the lakes because it's cheaper to get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but stick around because I will be facing that fear. He's got no fear of it, so it doesn't really matter. Thanks for your question. You do a bit of bouldering though, don't you? Just oh, to yeah. elaborate on the yeah, climbing. Do, yeah, I do climb, I do bouldering and stuff, but I'm not scared of that. It's not high. As soon as I get pa past the point where I know I'm going to hurt myself if I fall, cack yes, it. Where? No. What and where? Yeah. What and where? Oh, bouldering indoors and around Yorkshire. There's a lot of bouldering around here. A lot of bouldering around the uh, Piax. The Peak District, you get a lot of good bouldering. But let's not dwell on it. <laughs> Happy New... Don't want to get all informative. Right, Ryan Mc... 1302. 
Thank you, mate. Happy New Year, Chief. I'm back at you. Do you have any more long walks, adventures planned this year, similar to the coast to coast? Da -da -da -da. Will you be taking Von? Di yeah, I do. I was going to be doing the Cleveland Way be before the winter, but I got a few things came up and I was too busy. I think if Joey D can't do the full thing, he's going to join me for the last few days on the coastal part of the Cleveland yeah. Way, and that should be coming maybe spring. It's tricky for me to get such a long chunk of time off, but yeah, hopefully next time I'll join him on a section of it at least. The end, the coast will be good. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for your question. Theo, out of every... Would you like to be Nana? Theo. Thanks, Theo. Out of everything both of you have made by hand, which is your favourite? Wow. You're looking at it. <laughs> yes, yes, up there. Got to be that. Everything that's been made by hand. Oh, yeah. my God. Too many things. Spoon, just the latest spoon I made, I think. It usually is the latest spoon. Does that it's, not rank highly in the... It does rank very highly, yeah. It's very... Me, my daughter. Oh, I see what you did there. You waited till I'd, like, sold myself down the... So, like, nice one. Craft <laughs> river. <laughs> yeah. You're going to so, send this to a There you go. Time. There you go. Gonna send it. Don't say his name. So, it doesn't matter anymore. Ulysses, Ulysses is, is, is coming Ulysses out of the closet. The Ulysses the second, his dad. So yeah, I've said my daughter, he said his latest spoon. <laughs> and that's that. Thank you. Mark Brim, friend of the show. Yes. That's a <laughs> Mark name Brim photo. Dropping up, isn't it? Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Yeah. And this is a show by the way. Might be a shit show, but it's a show. Mark Brim, how has fatherhood oh linking me. in, yeah. Now, how has fatherhood affected you both? Oh. Expectations before the real life experience is after. Wow. A lot of this is getting cut out yeah. before we even start. Why? You well let's what talk about it. Yeah, but I don't really want to talk about my kids and our that's it. You just say it's it's I I would say it's it's just harder than you can expect. It's different to anything you can possibly put your, you know, imagine. Uh yeah, I'd just say for me it's been hard. The hardest thing for me is giving up as much of the time drugs as my own time as I've had to give up yeah yeah not, not drugs can't be selfish we so we are very different parents though so I'm a absentee I'm a I'm a part-time father uh, whereas JD's a full-time father so it's uh, it's very different I get a lot of free work you know a lot more of my own time to play with but each bond's different I mean it's a complicated one that I'm not going to get into but I don't think you can prepare yourself for it. You can't prepare yourself for You've it. You've got to be in the right place for it, but sometimes, you know, that doesn't matter either. Just be prepared to love something more than you've ever... Yeah. ...than you can possibly imagine. That is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. Thanks for your question, Mark. John McQuish. Like his name, McQuish. Sounds like if McDonald's was going to launch a quiche. <laughs> yeah, the Mac quiche. <laughs> the McFan... <clears throat> hey there Hayes lad Happy New Year mate Question to yourself and JD Out of all three of your Northern Monk Patrons series Which is your favourite I know it's like choosing a favourite child I think the last one Just edges it for me Much worse gracious The last one Does he mean the latest one uh, Yeah That I've not tried Yeah we've got some of that to try But oh, I've not tried the latest one I've a I was actually asked this as In a questionnaire by Northern Monk But I said my The favourite flavour mm. for me Was the The uh, Pina Colada one. I like the hazelnut porter. Peter Wolf, Happy New Year, guys. If you could help a charity, which would you choose and why? Charity. I once did a thing for a donkey sanctuary. <laughs> Not even joking. They're in trouble. Not even joking. Tough guy. You don't back see many day. wild donkeys. Well, a lot of them are used on the beach, and then they're put to where do they go after that. I'm not saying it's my favourite, but I'm just saying it's one of the obscure charities that I've fundraised for. I think for me it would have to be some form of animal conservation. Well, as in wild animal conservation. Not like a donkey. Like a rabid donkey. Yeah, like gibbons and stuff like that. So wildlife. Yeah. Wildlife. Probably and British mental health. Wildlife. Mental health and wildlife and kids with can cancer and cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Kids riding donkeys with cancer. If I could choose. 
<laughs> Thanks for your question, Pete. Right, Simon Tunard, aka Gadget Viper, friend of the. Uh, He's a big friend at show. Isn't big he? friend at show. If by law you had to drink a can of your own warm <coughs> piss for every 100 cans of craft beer, would you do it? That's a lot of can craft beer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold That's on. Strange. Just one can of your own piss for every 100 cans, sir. I'm, I'm often you bagging 100 cans every couple of months. No. So a can of my own piss every few months, yeah. Just to be able to drink a few beers, yeah. Mix it with stuff. Curtinja six. First off, happy, third, yeah, okay, happy new year. My question is, what would be your bucket list camping location for a beer review? Thanks, guys. Speaking of which, let's crack this open, shall we? Or at the top of a mountain. But they're saying your dream location. Yeah, dream location. Um, all right. So that's just been anywhere, anywhere ever, ever, ever. The moon. I suppose it don't really matter if it's, it's how you good, feel, that. mate. Because I could be in literally paradise, but if my head's not right, maybe I'm on my own. I'm with some people I don't want to be with. For me, it's near the sea somewhere. Maybe Croatia on a in a cove in Croatia by the sea. Red car for me. Red Caraces. Here's to Red Caraces and Red Market. Cheers. What Cheers. You think, yeah. What's what? Oh, it's your bail. It's just a bail handle that I use sometimes to um, heat my uh, cup because I'm a bushcraft, you see. Yeah. That's nice, that. Ooh. Very um, tooty fruity, isn't it? Tooty, yeah. That's a bit of starburst going on. That's really nice. So, uh, yeah, thanks. I think it can be giving Matt or something. For sending me these, mate. I. Uh, I've smashed a few and I've given Joey D quite a few for Christmas along with some others and appreciate that. Yeah. I can't it's a staggeringly good brewery, it's called Staggeringly Good. It's nice that down isn't it? south. Good job. Yeah, good job that. Thank you very much. Alicia Mellin, regale us with the tale as old as time about how you and Von Diesel met, the romance, the passion, I'm on the edge of my seat. Well, Alicia, welcome to the Patreon and thank you for joining and becoming, what do you do when you when diluting the testosterone in the comment section? How do you know? I appreciate good? that. Well, she, she called Ali Alicia, and she's talking about passion and being nice, not just saying fucking if you could drink your own piss and then just that you can. So it's obviously just a respectable, lovely girl. And if that sounded sexist, then I'm sorry. Cause it <clears throat> could be anyone. These I days. know. Yeah. Sorry about that. Let's, let's keep fluid. Uh, we've said this many a time, haven't we? Just met oh, at school, mate. Times. Yeah. Just met at six six form. Yeah. Yeah. Six form at school, uh, and we used to smoke a little bit of doobie at bike sheds and that. <laughs> yeah, as you do when you're young, knocking about, playing computer games. And oh, yeah. That. Long time. Yeah. And Whitby, and in, 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 it was in Whitby, and. Basically, there's only three people, so it was yeah. inevitable we were going to meet. Slim pickings. Mm. Um, we used to go to woods and stuff in Whitby and on beat, all sorts of stuff. It's almost like, you know, when you're forced to get on with someone. Yeah, but sometimes if you fight at school and they put you in together in the same, they make you hug for an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your question, Alicia. The gas man. Yeah, boy. All right, lads. <clears throat> I was born and raised in the Lake District. Where I sp all right, show off where I spent the last 15 years of my life. I now live in the Kent Sussex area and have been here for 15 years. I fear I've become a soft, I fear of some soft and have such, <laughs> I like that. I fear I've become soft having spent such a long time surrounded by the soft Southern folk. Is it too late for me? What can I do to make me less of a softy? I also have a little lad who I enjoy. I don't want to grow up to be soft. Oh, poor lad. I watch your videos with him. So can you do a shout out to have man, please? Lots of love. Shout out Harv. I don't know if this video is for you, Harv, because uh might be throwing in a few swear words and a bit of drinking and that, but you'll learn about all Harv? That's an unusual name. Harv, yeah. Harvey, obviously. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, Harv, this is what you this is your first step towards becoming a little bit harder yeah. and uh more Yeah, yeah, viewing the content. Just view yeah, you'll just become more northern by proxy, just watching yeah. this. But my 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 advice to you is get 
get north as quick as possible. Yeah. Sack Sounds in. like, you know, maybe... The Marv, I don't know how old you are. You're little. Here it says. That's all I know, but this is to you. Maybe leave. As soon as you're old <laughs> enough, ditch your dad, because yeah. he's just... He's gone. How he's, long has he been there? 15 years. He's, he's too... He's gone. Yeah. He's, he's rotten. Yeah. He's too soft. He's gone. His legs couldn't carry him up north. He's spalted. Yeah, he's spalted <laughs> now, hasn't he? Punkwood legs. <laughs> your dad's got punkwood legs, and he doesn't belong up north. So you... My advice is have... Get yourself adopted or just get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> as quick as you possibly can. Yeah. Good that. You're just getting into it further. Got any more? What is your current favourite piece of gear that's uh, camping slash bushcraft related? My current favourite camping piece of gear has to be my Hilleberg. My Hilleberg Alak 2. Simple. Because it costs so much money, I have to. <laughs> I don't feel as guilty about it now. I've used it enough to sort of feel less guilty about the price of it. Plus, I just want to say here, that I didn't buy that tent. It was a present of family and friends and stuff, so... I wouldn't, go, I wouldn't advise going and using your own cash and whacking a grand on a tent unless you've really saved up for it or, you know... You've got a grand, you? You've got a grand to spare, yeah. <laughs> Don't get out a payday, don't go to Wonga. Yeah. Purchase it. Oh, don't sell a kidney to get a tent. <laughs> don't start knocking out. Right, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers, au take au care. Au revoir. Uh.